Hello and welcome to Arizona Express. I'm your host David Lynch and today we are broadcasting live from Pop Culture Paradise here near ASU in Tempe, Arizona. It's kind of a big spot. I'm here with the manager, the manager, Ben Hirons. How are you doing, Ben? I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm glad you wanted to have us here and I, I see you got a lot of things going on here. I see comic books, I see superheroes. What else does Pop Culture Paradise offer? Uh, we offer quite a lot of things. We offer comics, graphic novels, uh, collectibles, memorabilia, uh, role play games, trading card games, uh, a lot of great gifts as well for Christmas. Uh, basically everything that you liked when you were a young, young kid. Now, but there is no age limit now, because I see young, old, new, rookies, veterans. It seems they've got a nice little, little blush of everything around here. Yes, um, it, it, our age range is from, say, perhaps 10 years old, maybe a little younger, all the way up to, oh, well, I've, I've, I've played somebody over 70. Over 70? Oh, yeah. So did you actually win when you played him? Uh, no. <laughs> so the years kind of helped out? Yes, he was wiser than he looked. <laughs> so tonight we got a special tournament going on here. Tell me about the magic tournament that's going on right now behind us. Uh, tonight we have one of our regular standard tournaments of a trading card game called Magic the Gathering. It's our most popular and uh, we run an event for Magic the Gathering every night of the week, seven days a week. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a magic rookie. I have no idea, no idea what's going on with magic. So you're my expertise teacher in this. What do I need to have, first and foremost, when I start off on this magic conquest? Well, there are some pre-constructed decks that you can buy uh, and then modify. But generally, with um, to start a game of magic, you'll need an opponent. You'll need a deck no less than 60 cards. Uh, some of those will be creature cards. Some will be land. Um, and basically just a piece of paper and a pencil. That's all you need. That's all I need? And maybe a little knowledge of the game to, uh, to try and win. Okay, well, when we come back from this break, we're going to find out about the knowledge and what it takes to be actually good at Magic the Gathering. We'll be right back on Arizona Express. And we're back here in Arizona Express. I'm your host, David Lynch, and we're talking with Ben about Magic the Gathering game. I apparently know nothing about this because I didn't even know it was international, but I'm, I'm learning quickly. Now, Ben, I'm a rookie. I don't know what I'm doing. What do I need to start with as far as money-wise to get my Magic collection going? Well, Wizards of the Coast provides a number of intro packs and event decks, which is probably the easiest way to, to purchase and just have a playable deck ready to go. In your hand. You don't even need to know the rules. You know, you just buy the pack and then you can go from there. Um, a starting pack is usually between fifteen to twenty dollars. So that's not bad. I mean, that's an average starting price. Now, as you said, a starting pack means I'm gonna get my butt kicked pretty quickly. Most probably. Uh, the fun of it is that you'll then edit that deck once you learn what you like. Um, Magic the Gathering is based around five colors, which usually exhibit the way people like to play. And also, uh, people can be very competitive 
uh, in some of these environments. So it's it's a lot of fun, especially if you're okay with the competitive environments. Uh, and even if you're not, there's plenty of social nights that we have too. So when you say competitive, I think competitive, I think from a sports, you know, sports environment and sports mind, eventually you're going to throw some punches. Have you ever seen a punch been thrown at a, at a Magic the Gathering tournament? <laughs> Uh, no, but I have heard about a few tables being flipped. It's like, it's like dominoes, the same thing. Uh, pretty much, yes. <laughs> so, okay, my, my last thought is I'm looking around, I'm seeing, you know, the crowd and everything like that. Um, not too many ladies around this uh, Magic the Gathering events. Um, care to share about that? Uh, it is a lower percentage of female players, although Saturday is ladies' night for Magic. So if you're out there and you want to come, Saturday's the night to come. So you know, everyone on Arizona Express knows I'll be here on Saturdays, uh, probably from 7 to 10 p.m. with an extension for the after hours party. I'm going to bring my friend Ben here. You can find us both here at Pop Culture Paradise. What's the website? Uh, it's www.popculture-comics.com. There you go. You can find out about Pop Culture Paradise, Magic the Gathering. Talk to the manager, Ben. I'm sure he'll hook you up with a good deal. Say you saw it on Arizona Express. I've been your host, David Lynch, and thank you for joining us this time. And we'll see you next time on Arizona Express. Appreciate it.